to install stairs into our drawing, uh, we need to be on the level where we want the staircase to start. So in this case, I'm going to start on the ground floor uh, level and it, we need to be in the architecture tab. And when I scroll along to here, we've got stairs. So click on stairs and we're just going to run a straight flight of stairs for this. So I can set uh, the width of the stairs up here if I want to and the run is, is currently set to center and that's fine that's where i leave it um, to draw a flight of stairs up in my palette box up here i've got my straight flight uh, selected which is the default and i'm just going to uh, start anywhere not necessarily where i want the stairs to be but I'm just going to start somewhere and then start drawing now when you see the staircase come you can see we've got the outside box and now i'm filling up the box with all the treads it's important you do fill the whole uh, box up otherwise the flight of stairs won't reach uh, the first floor level. So when you're doing this, just bring this up and uh, click there. Uh, this is a drawing component, so uh, we need to hit the green tick. So hit the green tick, and away we go. And I can now pick up this staircase and move it around where I want it to be. Um, I'm actually going to uh, place this staircase uh, about here somewhere and use the align tool as shown in a previous video. So I'm just going to type AL on the keyboard. Uh, don't forget to, it's the destination first, so that's that line there, then the edge of the staircase, and that snaps to it. Uh, and again, I like to use that because it's a lot easier. Um, so with my staircase installed where I want it to be, um, I can now try and have a look at it. Uh, if I go into my 3D view, I can't see the staircase. So I actually want to use the 3D section view that I produced earlier. Uh, so I'm going to bring down the top, just so I can see inside uh, the top of the... Uh, first floor and when I look in there I can find the staircase there it is um, I can now see that uh, the staircase is there but I can't actually climb it because there's no hole in the floor so in order to put a hole in the floor I need to actually select the floor and I can't do that in this view and I can't do it in first floor view I actually need to go to my 2d section uh, in 2d section I can then click on the floor and you can see the floor turns blue when I go back to my first floor I can now see the, the floor has actually been selected because it's in blue. I can also, also see the staircase. Uh, to edit it, I need to go into Edit Boundary at the top here. Uh, click on Edit Boundary, and you can then see my original drawing with the pink lines. Uh, I'm going to use the Rectangle tool in my drawing palette, and I'm going to start over here and then just bring down where I want it to be. Now, I'm going to deliberately do this slightly incorrect so I can show you uh, the problems we can have and to make sure that we comply with building regulations. So I'm going to bring my hole out about this, this, this size here uh, and see what happens. So with that green tick, I can now um, cancel that. I can now uh, have a look at it. It will always ask this, do you want the walls to go up to this, uh, this level? Um, I always hit attach. So in order not to see that again, just tick that box and hit attach. And with this in place now, click in the white space, and I can now go back to my 3D section. I should be able to see the stairs poking through a hole in the floor, which I can right now. Um, the, the stairs themselves look fine. The hole looks fine until you go into your 2D section. Uh, so I'm going to go to section one. In fact, uh, I'll go into ground floor, and then I need to move this uh, section so that it's actually sitting across the staircase. So get it sitting across the staircase. Also with 2D, we can also change the direction. So these blue arrows on the top here, I can actually flip it left to right, depending which way I want to view it. For this, it doesn't really matter that much. I'm just going to view it in there. Uh, and with that, back into my section one, and you can see I've moved the section now so I can actually see through the staircase. Uh, it's quite important this because when we're designing our, our building, we need to comply with building regs. And uh, document K of the building regulations state that we need to maintain a two meter headroom. So in order to measure this, um, I can use my measuring tool uh, up here. If this is not available, it's also uh, up in the top left-hand corner up here. So just bring up your measuring tool. And then from the bulkhead, just measure down. And you can see I'm here, I'm only 1,440, uh, which is way too short. I'd have to stoop down low to climb those stairs. So I need to go back in and adjust this, this hole to bring it out further this way. Uh, as I come out this way, obviously, the height gets bigger. So I'm just going to select floor again, uh, go into my first floor view, go into edit boundary, and I can now just grab this pink line and I'm going to drag it right out uh, to where I think it might be. Go back into the green tick uh, to finish that drawing off, back into my section, and I can now re-measure this. Uh, so pick up the measuring tool, and down we come. You can see from this tread, I've got 2 meters 116. So that now complies with building rigs. And you just keep adjusting that until... Uh, the stairs sit where you want them to sit. Um, back into my 3D section, just have a look at the staircase. 
Um, it looks quite nice, but you wouldn't normally have railings down the wall side. So I can just click on that side of the staircase uh, when it's blue and hit my delete button on my keyboard. And it now looks a bit more like a staircase. Um, if I wanted to put railings around the top of this uh, to stop people from falling over, um, the easiest way to do that is go to my first floor. Uh, and you can see where I need to have these railings around here. Uh, go into railing itself, which is just in the architecture tab at the top here. Um, for this, um, we can choose different types of railing. We're just going to stick with a standard one for the moment for the purpose of this. And I'm just going to start there, and it's a single line for each one. So once I've done that what, one railing there, that's one single railing. I now have to click again and then stop again. So I've now got two railings that are joined. Uh, hit the green tick, back into my 3D section, and you can see now the benefit of 3D section um, uh, and how it, how it enables you to look inside and see how things marry up and how they... Um, should look and just double check to make sure you've got things in the right place. Uh, so that's how you do stairs uh, and also putting a hole in the floor.